Teamfight Manager is a management sim that is also an auto battler uh, that has its own meta. There's a lot of layers in this game <laughs> where, yes, you are managing a team of people. You're doing the hiring, the firing, the you're, you're doing their stat upgrades, you're making them go and stream, uh, you're setting goals for them. Uh, so you're managing the personnel side, but you're also the coach for the actual events. Uh, and it's an auto battler. They're playing, they're technically playing some kind of a 4v4 arena type thing, which is what you're watching right now in the background. Uh, but you're not actually playing it, which makes it technically an auto battler. So, <laughs> there's a lot of layers here. It's actually a very interesting title. Uh, and it plays really beautifully with the controller. I've been playing with the controller, um, for most of today. Um, on, on, the, on the downstairs TV through Steam Link. So just like, if any latency or whatever, who cares? You know, like, this is a reaction time here. You basically set up everything and then you just go, you go grab a slice of pizza as some of you guys have seen. And then you just wait for the results and that's it. So I have two different teams that I'm following right now or that, I, that I'm managing. I have Donk and Sports, Sports, Sports. So I'm gonna show you uh, uh, Donk first because Donk is 4v4. Now you have a couple options you can set up for this, right? And I kind of stripped when I uh, when I made my new game plus for, um, uh, for this particular playthrough. In and then I set the band, picks and bands to 10 seconds. So you have 10 seconds to basically choose. Uh, you'll see here. Uh, I'll just go right to the next match. You have 10 seconds to choose. And then uh, you have... Oh, is it going to start right away? It is, isn't it? Son of a bitch. Uh, I see blue team picks a chance at me. That's... Uh, I don't even know my team name because this is such a clusterfuck with four of these versus four. And all the champions are unlocked. You can see right here, there's tons of champions to choose from. Uh, but I got to ban something. So let me go and find... Let me see if I do fast, do fast, do fast. Great. Uh, I don't know what the meta is. Uh, you have to kind of play a little bit and kind of get a feel for the meta, and then the patches start to come out, and the patches make certain changes. So you have to follow the patch notes and everything. Uh, it's a, it's an incredibly in-depth game. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna block out the ninja. The ninja in general is a bit of a problem for me. At least my other save it is. It may it may not actually be an issue here because because of the patch. <laughs> because we're a patch we're on. <laughs> let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Now I'm gonna pick. Let me see. Um. So I'm gonna choose, oh God. Okay, actually Swords was pretty good actually. We could uh, adjust him to somebody else if we need to. As a matter of fact, uh, right over here has a specialty. One of his mains is that, but we have to go to keep going here because this is nonsense. We'll pick the monks, that way we can swap back and forth. So um, they're gonna pick, okay, now I'm gonna pick, uh, let me see, knights. I'm just picking the, the things that I'm currently strong in, right, that I main. Uh, let's see, use, and then it's me for the last one. I'll choose the, I guess the Barbarian here. This is not a particularly good composition. Uh, my people on the right-hand side. My player composition, not necessarily my champion composition, uh, composition. So, as you saw, I only had so many seconds in order to actually complete all those actions. And that was one of the mistakes that I made in this particular save. Because on top of the fact that I had all the champions unlocked, so I, could, I just want to look at them all and try them, uh, I, I don't know them. Like, there's so many champions here I don't know because they're not in my save. Which is why I want to show you one fight with 4v4 so you get an idea of what the cluster is uh, but I can't really give you any any insight into like what the strategy would be like and how the game thinks because I don't play 4 versus 4 I'm playing 2s right now <laughs> actually I just went to 3s actually so uh, yeah we'll see how that works out uh, anyway so uh, what I meant by switching is here you could do a swap so now you see when it's highlighted in orange here that just means that that person is strong this person the player is strong with this champion so you want to pick and he gives a bonus stats because of that uh, over here on the left hand side only one person there is strong with your champion. Now that doesn't mean that you're gonna win. It does not mean that you're gonna win. Uh, there again, there, there's a meta thing here. Like this, we have a gambler, shield bear, devil, and a ghost. I, I don't even know what the ghost does uh, <laughs> because I'm not familiar with these champions. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm not familiar with any of these champions on the left hand side. I know all the, three of them here on the right that, that are on my save. Uh, so I, I know I have a good composition of at least one support healer, one tank. Uh, probably DPS, and then of course there's another DPS. Uh, so we'll see. With those, there's no CC in any of these things, so nobody's really keeping anybody crowd controlled or anything. Shield bear, I think, is AOE shields. So I think I've seen them play before, but that's it. That's all I know. <laughs> now we watch for one minute. We let them go at it. It's complete and utter chaos here. On the right-hand side and left-hand side, you can see the, the 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 player boards here, and they have all the, has all the information there. You can see who's getting the kills. You can see who's getting who's dying. You can see who's uh, who's getting the assists. Uh, and if you have someone that's feeding, you can look at it. Is it the, because of this champion composition that I chose, or is it because of the player themselves? Because there's another layer they have to manage. The actual players are they good? Are they having a bad day? Look at the arrow here. The green arrow here means that they're just doing fine. 
up arrow here means that they're in slamming mood, right? Like their their SSRIs are in full swing, baby. They're like ready to go. <laughs> but this guy right here, ah, he's been on the downside, kind of having a bad day. So all these things come into play here, and this is why again I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you this. But then we're gonna switch back. Am I gonna win this? Hold up, I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna win this, aren't I? Okay, hold on. We can watch this for a second. Let me see. Come on, baby. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh, I just, I just slam dunked them all over the place. Look at this. Unfortunately, though, they want me to play another match. But that's not gonna happen because we're gonna go ahead and exit. Quit. And I'm gonna go back to twos because that shit is just too much for me. Too much for my brain. Let me see. There we go. Sports, sports, sports. This is my team. The one that I'm managing. I'm only down to two right now, and I kind of screwed up. If you look at the schedule here, the schedule uh, you can see on the next day here, uh, or next week, we have we have two more weeks of recruitment. Yeah, two more weeks of recruitment, and then we go into competition. So I need to get to recruiting. So we're gonna go over here, management. I'm oh, sorry, uh, team. We're gonna go to recruitment, and then, uh oh, oh, okay, go back to uh, start. <clears throat> this is gonna basically after uh, two calendar weeks. So on the last week. Which is why I say I kind of messed up because I, I should have started this process a little bit earlier and not skip some weeks just to show you guys the content, like the actual combat. Um, so I have choice from one person and that will just give us somebody to swap out because this, this is twos, not threes or fours. Oh wait, no, we're going to threes. Dang, that's right. I graduated from twos to threes. Well, at this point I could start a new save and just go straight twos if I wanted to, but I think it's probably good to go ahead and continue moving on this patch so I can keep I, I, an idea of what's strong and what's not in the current meta. So let's see, we're gonna go to um, training. Nobody's training. Uh, no, recruitment's already going. We're good. Uh, if I go to competition, I'm sorry, uh, management, and then go to equipment. So we take a look at equipment here. We'll talk about this for a second. I have no resources on the right hand side, no resources to build anything. But if normally you go to craft, craft, and you just throw in a bunch of random things here, and you'll get an item at the end. I haven't looked up what the formula is. Uh, it's a it's a two person team from Korea. So there's not really a whole lot of material uh, in terms of like direct from the developer. So I'll have to go and start digging through the uh, Steam guides and such to kind of see how, how crafting uh, really works. Because I've gotten like two or three different things from the exact same, I've been sciencing it, right? From the exact same composition of items being crafted. But you do get cool stuff though that give you stats that apply to your entire team. Excuse me, I'm, sl I have a slurpy here. I'm choking on it. Uh, and so you had, and like, like a warrior channel, well, this is warrior specifically, but like this, attack plus one, boom, just the whole team gets attack plus one. Um, if you know you're gonna play a specific meta, then of course you could go ahead and spec into those by using these hats. Uh, trackball, same thing, like they have all reduced cooldown by 2%, attack speed, attack plus one, etc. Concrete chair versus a wooden chair. <laughs> coats versus a hoodie so yeah and they also can upgrade you can see right here it says the coat will upgrade to a priest robe huh oh okay uh he achieved seven wins as the uh priestess which by the way is really hard man the priestess is like very difficult to pair for some reason let me see um Improved facility, this is if you had money, you could spend it to, uh, to, to, to add some upgrades. Like for example, the ability to craft equipment cost me like 300 gold. And you get gold by, you know, playing the game or by, or by I'm sorry, going to competitions or, 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 and there's a bunch of other things here too. Um, or you can go, I should one more thing actually, sorry. Uh, proof facility, you can see that there's actually multiple layers here. So you, you can play this game for a very long time if you wanted to. Uh, or you can go over here and you could say weekly activities, special training, which is where you're going to spend money in order to uh, uh, upgrade your characters. So let's see, specialty is for example, spend. Sven, I've been upgrading the attack here, so I could click on this and click start training, and I would spend 100 gold in order to raise uh, Sven's attack. And this is attack on the player. I'm sorry, on the, uh, yeah, on the player, not on the champion. Uh, that's their mains, sure, that's great, but this is overall. This makes it a little bit more flexible whenever you have to pick something that's outside of your current main. You have to get like an alt or something, right? Um, something you're weak with, at least you could have that buff. Uh, in terms of streaming, like I said before, you can throw them out there and make them stream. They start with zero fans, so you have to work, th work them up. Uh, this person, Hart, actually joined the team recently, and they uh, brought their own fan base, which is pretty dope. So, uh, I could go six consecutive wins, they get more money, 113, yeah, so this number's higher. Uh, and also they get, um, they'll end up getting money during the stream itself. So I'm gonna go with something high risk. So 27% chance of succeeding at this, a reward of 88 to 113. So we click stream start, we get an actual stream log, a chat log here. And then it comes down and it said, you can see you got gold, 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 I'm getting donos all over the place. And then it says, that was crap. So you could read, you could read scroll back if you want, which is by the way, very eye-opening. <laughs> 
by somebody who streams. It's just like, oh man, it's, it's okay. There are people worse than you. You can't do this all so close. Are you crying? Take care. I knew you'd fail. Oh man, there's so many strings in here for when you lose. Oh, it's so painful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you guys want to play this game where you get ridiculed by like non-existent people? Come on! Combination test. This is actually one of my favorite things. Uh, you can see here, every week you get one test you can do. And you can uh, basically pit certain characters against certain champions, certain champions against certain champions, and just see how they, as from a pure individual champion stat basis, how they uh, contend with somebody else. And you can see I have a lot of repeats because there's a long period of time where I was like, I'm gonna pair something that I think might be interesting with something else. And then you find out they just lose with everything against a specific composition. So Ninja and Swordsman are just really, really just devastating to basically everything. Look at the, on the right hand side is, is them. Just green, green, green with all kinds of combinations of the sniper. So the sniper is basically weak, period. But so are a lot of these other classes too. This combo is just so good. Basically, Swordsman and, and Ninja or uh, Fighter. Just un unlimited DPS. So now we have three people though. So this is where it starts to get a little bit a little bit weird for me. Um, I, like for example, if I say, uh, it, let's go with my Swordsman, Ninja, and a Fighter. And we'll put him against a, uh, out of a, a CC, a tank, and a uh, kind of a combat healer. All right, and then we'll see how they do. Now again, any combination of these two, like any two combinations of, of these three, will will basically beat everything. Uh, there's a couple of counters, but for the most part, they, they just they kick some serious ass. Um, oh, 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 no, 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 we'll see. This is not the actual game, by the way. This is purely testing, purely simulations. So yeah, they win. Okay, good. Who'd have thought? Three, three DPS. <laughs> Just go, just go straight in and just blow them up, right? Michael Bay builds. All right, and then we're gonna proceed to the next week. We still have other weekly things we could do. Uh, again, oh, Nis oh, that's right, we had to actually sign a sponsor. Oh, I'm so glad I started right here. Perfect. Uh, so yes, you have a sponsor. Think of this as kind of like seasonal achievements where you have to go through and achieve a certain thing in order to get a whole bunch of resources that you can contribute towards crafting. Uh, you can see here, there's 11 you know, this was circuit thingies and 10 and other circuit thingies and nine nails and 10 fabric. Uh, and then you could turn those into into items. You could craft those into items for uh, for your team. So each one is different. You also get money associated with it. But then, of course, the contracts, terms, and conditions. It says achieve at least 367 kills in the previous season. Previous season in the regular season. My previous season, 320 kills. What a useful stat for them to give you right here. So you know if it's something that's reasonable. Uh, previous a season, achieve a losing streak of seven. Yeah, I, I had a really bad start to the last season. <laughs> achieve uh, using fighter berserker shrine maiden at least for a total. Okay, so 11. Okay, so achieve using. Oh, this should use the same thing like 12 times. By the way, do you notice that there's like some association here with like real life brands because there's there's a lot of this all over the place it's hilarious <laughs> it's like just like wait conquer what pepsi what pineapple huh uh they did a good job with this so this this seems reasonable to me 11 times just basically choose the same thing over and over again uh which wait wait which one's oh dang i should look at the details of which one exactly uh let me see special training i don't want to spend any money because i have people coming down the, the, the pipeline to uh to work for me hopefully let's go throw this person up here 27 percent chance give them no chance whatsoever to go to, to succeed and then what happens let's see had faith in you heart congratulations love you heart love you let's do it like just like this next time easy peasy do another mission see oh god it's so good and you can read you could go back and you can read this whole thing look at you can see the donos and everything got some gold and everything oh, look at that like this game is deep man <laughs> they spare no expense they spare no expense so good uh, let's say we're going to proceed to the next week. I think we looked at the uh, look at um, recruitment. You'll see that I still have one more day left for that. It's going to cost gonna cost me not so much money I have. Yeah, that's right, because he just went he went stream and made me made me some money. Get out there and stream for me, <laughs> minion. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next next week. <laughs> end of recruitment notice. That's right, it'll end this week. So whatever player we get here is the only one we're going to have available to us to choose from. Uh, oh, a mage. Mage is pretty dope. Also, there's two traits on this person. So this person comes with uh, Matten, comes with 11 and 12. So 11 offense, uh, 12 defense. 20 years old, zero stars. Uh, basically just new, you know, like there's there's different tiers of players you could recruit later on once you upgrade your facility. Uh, let's see, Piercing Spear receives 10 defensive penetration effect. Uh, and then Cockroach, escape when HP falls below 30%. During escape, movement speed doubles. Ooh, yeah, definitely. So we're gonna recruit that player. Now this is the person is going to be the alternate alternate on my roster. 
Uh, oh, we gotta spend their points. Yes, good. This is perfect. We're knocking out. We're knocking out everything. All right now. Uh, so one of those. Remember one of those purchasable up team upgrade things that I showed you. Uh, one of them was a uh, you spend like 300 gold and you get four training points that you could divvy up amongst your your players uh, score your character sheet here uh where you start normally with three so that's something that you may or may not well eventually you'll invest in but you know it's pretty cheap to get started um so usually what i'll do is i'll look at what these what this person has and this person has a ranger uh, which is a ranged bowyer uh that has a, uh, a war mage which is basically like a like a frost mage and wow same it's basically the same thing um lots and lots of like frost bolt like fro like freezes like actual frostbite freezes um and also uh, kind of like a uh, just like an aoe slow so uh but it's not like castable you don't have to like, hold it down or anything basically it's cast it once and then it's your alt for the entire round we'll get into the details of that in just a minute so attack you guys are looking for action right because this is the game okay this is the game that one minute of action you got like that's you get that every once in a while but that's not the game that's in the trailer but that's not the game <laughs> so actually we're gonna dump it out of here we're gonna put it into uh the ice mage just to give her a boost and whatever stats are so it'll give us four stats there uh weekly stream go matt and let's get matt out there see if we can make some money seven consecutive wins this is your this is your opportunity right now man show us what you got show us what you got did he do it oh i'll donate one billion gold if you fail again oh fail oh try something easier i hope you make it next time hey some people are pretty good so people, so people try to be nice. Okay, cool. So I think we're good. I think we're done. We're ready to go into, uh, into our competition season. We're not gonna do another test run. You guys have already seen that. So here we go. This is where we we actually do the composition uh, of our team. Uh, if I had four people on the roster, then I would only choose only be able to choose three people or four people, um, and have one would be like an alternate, right? But since we're going with three, yeah, that's right. Right. I keep forgetting we're going with three. Oh, this person's also a mage. Dang. Okay. Well. That sucks. <laughs> Damn it. Well, it's still good. The player had good stats overall. I just didn't have a, any any good choices because I ended up skipping too many weeks during recruitment week. And it's instead of uh, paying attention to um, trying to uh, recruit more people, I should have done that instead of skipping the damn weeks. Stream and then recruit more people. I could have streamed right there too, by the way, because that was a week. That was technically a week. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to Amateur League Round 1, Sports, Sports, Sports versus Team Statics. Again, notice that the team logos are very reminiscent of real life teams. <laughs> You'll see TSM in here. I'm sporting Cloud9 right now. <laughs> so you can, you can fake your actual, your, your, your real team. You can fake rep your real team. And then what's funny is when, when your fake team fails, you're just like, it's just like the real team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna ban now, so we don't have a time limit on this. This is great. Now I can see here and I can talk you through it, and it's not completely hectic and crazy like the 4v4 setup I had. So I look at the right hand side, we can see the players, you can see what their mains are, the same way you would in a regular team, right? Uh, a, a real esports team, I should say. Um, now somebody's got four mains, uh, but they're low level. Look at that, 2 1 1 1, 2 1 1 1. So like they're. They're strong in that, but it's not really going to make a difference. So right now we'd probably look at, okay, what's what's the current meta? I know right now in this build that ninjas are strong. Uh, so I will actually remove ninjas. I'll ban ninjas. There's also uh, uh, Piasic, Piasic uh, in the bottom right corner has ninjas as his main. His, uh, his main main, as a matter of fact. So I really don't want them to get him. Uh, now they they blocked my sportsman, which is fine. I'll, I'll just go ahead and choose. Uh, I'll choose an ice mage here. Uh, kind of ice mage on all three of my characters. Is that really what's up? That's hilarious. <sighs> How did I do that, man? Is that true? Oh no 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 no. The the, the, the second one here. I was okay at this one, and I was like, what? Yeah, they look too similar for a minute. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, we'll choose uh, ice mage for this one. We'll see what they end up picking. Oh, they took my knight. Okay, I'll get the. Uh, wait, hold on a second though. Wait, Knight, Shrine Maiden. She's a healer. She's like a range, like a uh, like a panda healer or something. A monk healer. <laughs> she's like a monk healer in a while, but, but but well, actually, wait, no, she's more like a shaman actually. Yeah, she's more like a shaman. Um, let me see. Oh god. Okay. I know the Ice Page synergizes really well with God. Well, I was gonna say with Swordsman or with Knight, but. Uh, let's try Magic Knight. Cast a spell that attacks enemies in a straight line. Creates an aura that uh, pulls surrounding enemies to the center. Okay, so it's attack, defense, range, speed. So she's... Let's try her. 
And then for the last one, let's pull the f uh, fighter. Okay. Oh, they're gonna choose the last one. Now, notice I didn't choose what I was strong with with every character because I feel I'm, I'm trying to get a feel for one for the Magic Knight, and also I think that uh, uh, this composition will have a better shot at beating this. Like they have a pretty good comp. Um, this is like, yeah, <laughs> this is pretty. This is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be a tough one. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping that you could see that my mage is is CCing, keeping them slow, which is good. She's running away at 30% because that's the person, that's that player's skill, right? Runs away when it's low on health. Um, although she's not contributing, so maybe that's not necessarily a good uh, pick to, to pick, give her something that's uh, melee because now they're out here fighting by themselves. Unbelievable. Is that really, is this really what's going to happen here? Oh my god, please thank you for killing her. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh man. I should have given. I should have given a range. Have to give that player person range. Who is this? Uh, heart is a heart? No, no, no. It's right, Matt. It's Matten. That's right. Cockroach. Dang. I thought that would actually help a little bit, but it's bad. Well, the other team won by a long shot. I guess it wasn't necessarily a benefit. It was a negative. There are benefits and negatives when you look at their. I mean, like you can see, like piercing spear receives ten uh, defensive penetration effect. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, it's not worth it. We're gonna run away forever. Okay, so, uh, Matten's gotta, has to, has to have to have a ranged character, period. Alright, so blue team's chip picking someone to ban. Take out the knight. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's see, heart. I think heart did fine with the ice mage. We're gonna stick her with that again. Uh, actually, swordsman. And then we see swordsman. Oh, it's ban. My bad. Um, ninja. <laughs> it's always ninja. Okay, so they chose Magic Knight, which is fine. Um, well, now that I know how that thing... Oh, well, not really, because I ran away from most of that match. So I didn't get a chance to really learn from it. All right, choosing two characters here. So I will choose what they're both strong in, because I don't really know what they're running with. So I'll just choose this. And then I have to choose the next one. Um, you. And then this last one's going to be the most important. Okay, Shrine Reading. Oh, boy. That's a lot of support. Huh. There's a lot of words like CC and support. They're just gonna grief me to death. Um, I need something that I already have CC. Or sorry, I already have uh, lots of like melee, up close melee, which is good. Um, I'm sorry, I should say like um, like uh, uh, fast melee. <clears throat> Let me see. Hmm. Have to be ranged. And look at that, Jen Archer. I guess that's probably the best for you. And that's gonna be good. That's it. I mean, because yeah, if they get close, then. Um. Yeah, yeah, it has to be a, like that. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Just stay back. Just stay back. Just stay back. Nice. Oh, beautiful combinations here. Really good combinations. We're up five three. Looking good. As long as Matt just kind of keeps this is totally fine. Once Matt gets in the mix, and that's it. <laughs> oh, it's tied now. Come on. Now we gotta do some cleanup here. Come on, baby. Yeah, gosh, that magic knight just has a good amount of range. It's like melee, but their their special attack every like five seconds or whatever is a uh, is a line attack. Look at that right there, that purple. Oh, this is gonna be really close, man. Don't take me out. Don't take me out so soon. Come on, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to do this. If I had to pay attention to that, to that 30% uh, cockroach thing, I would have uh, probably done a little bit better in that first round. Probably would have done a little bit better in the first round. Uh, so we'll do one more match here. And then after that, we go right back to the recruitment process. And then that's pretty much it. Like, that's the game loop overall. Um, as you play and as you do more of those test uh, uh, test battles, you learn like what the what the meta is and how it works. Like what's strong against what. Like there's a baseline, right? Like, there's a baseline that you could figure out uh, pretty easily just from if you like played any uh, any other mobas or any 
other like champion base because even any auto battlers like you you kind of get a good idea for what's gonna be strong against what rock paper scissors mushrooms okay you guys know what that is let's see pick a champion you want to ban so who are we banning ninja every time ice son of a bitch <laughs> okay so i'll kick things off with the swordsman they're gonna pick two. This is where we're gonna know we're gonna go with this. Berserker, okay. Berserker's got an alt that where they basically turn super huge and just start wailing on you. Um, so if I had an Ice Mage, I could I could keep them away. If I need characters to keep away from them. Um, I think we'll be most successful here with a Sniper and an Archer. Uh, just to keep distance from this berserker because once the berserker starts going nuts then that's it so i think what i'm gonna do first because i know that i'm good with this one but on my third character i can pick two characters never mind, i'm good so boom and then boom okay so if this is a funky this is like just basically deeps really just straight deeps and they have like tanks yeah this is gonna be, this is gonna be weird this is gonna be a really weird matchup come on man stay away never mind dead uh, they already got- they're already up three. That Berserker is just so, so harsh. There we go. This case, yeah, we get caught up. As long as we keep that Berserker out of your face, you're good. But that tank, that tank could, um... Oh, man. Oh, God, the tank. So the tank has a taunt that it could do every, like, five seconds or so. And that taunt is what's basically keeping my guys from focusing on the Berserker. The Berserker's just basically able to run free and just wreak havoc on my dudes. And the tank's just over here, like, you know, fucking neener, neener, neener or whatever. And that's it. So look, so now my characters are basically attacking her. She's dying every once in a while, but she's ultimately doing fine. <laughs> look at that. Oh man, now she's dead. This is my this is my opportunity to clean up. I get a couple get a couple kills here. See that? See that? And the tank comes out. Takes all the damn attention. Look at that. Oh god. Man. Man oh man. Well, I lost. That's fine. Bam, pick, defeat. Oh, God, what is this? It says, lose to an opponent with stats that are at least 10 lower than the average uh, stats. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, see? that's The game knows what's up, right? Like, the picks and bans, like, that's, that's where the game is typically made. Which is why I said, like, that combat portion is not the game. Uh, all, all of the actual, all the actual game, all the actual, like, real important stuff happens behind the scenes. The game is just, you know, you just, you, have, you hope we get some good picks and bans or whatever, but that's also behind the scenes. So we go to management here. Actually, no, we're, we're done. We're done. I'll just kind of recap a couple things and also show a couple things I didn't show the first time. You do have a champion stats here where you could go through and you could see how your champions are performing. Uh, and you could see, let's see, uh, I pick count seven, uh, ban pick rate 100%, uh, my KDA 2.45, uh, the damage dealt, damage taken. So there's lots of stats here that you can uh, uh, accumulate and you can figure out like what works for you, what doesn't. Um, you know, what's, which ones are winning, which ones are not. You guys should go back here and view team stats so you could see who people are picking and banning. I mean, this game is deep, dude. Look at this. You can see the individual players, see what their mains are. You can click on them. You can see how often they win with them. Like, there are so many layers. There's so many layers. The match record. There's a little match info, man. This is freaking TL.net. It's crazy how much stuff is on here. It's nuts. We go to ranking list. This is where you can see like what the current ranks are for the Amateur League 2022. Uh, I finished uh, 2021 in second place, I think. Uh, second place? Oh, third place. I can't remember. Um, I did okay towards the end, but the first the first week or a couple weeks or so, uh, I was get my ass kicked. But yeah, look at this. So uh, League Unchanged. Can I go look at the previous weeks, the previous years? It's my current schedule. I guess not, huh? Let me see management. Nope, nope. Message box is basically where they just tell you. Uh, how you do? Oh, here we go. Maybe apply new patch. Apply new. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you look at patch notes. See? Isn't this sick? This is crazy. Nerf. Sniper nerf. Fight. Oh, ninja was nerfed. Oh, dang. Attack speed. Oh my god, that's so necessary. That's the biggest problem. Is those damn ninjas would get on you, like because they could teleport to you, shadow step kind of. They teleport to you and they'll start doing crazy damage. So yeah, that's that's a, that's definitely worth. Also, it also shows why my my swordsman is not quite as good as it was before. That's a huge HP nerf. I should I should read the patch notes, guys. <laughs> 
The priestess is up though, uh, which is good because the priestess was useless before this. And the cooldown for the Shrine Maiden is also down by a good amount, which is also good because the Shrine Maiden was not good before this patch. So Sniper got an attack nerf, which was actually completely uncalled for because the Sniper was so bad. I have proof of that, Riot. <laughs> Look at my tests. Look at red hair, red hair, okay? Look at fail, 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 fail. They just lose, they just lose. She's just bad. And then here's where you go through you can look at the individual details of every champion. Guys, the game has everything. Like, it's seriously, it's like, what are you missing here? What are you missing here? You know what you're missing? You're missing this thing, like, being on your phone or something. Like, this is something I would absolutely play on my phone to death. I think actually I had a game. I, I was actually in a game. Uh, it was like a guild manager game or something like that. It was like guild something. Um, it didn't last very long. It, it updated a few times. I don't know what happened to it after that. Uh, but yeah, like I think he was using likenesses of lots of streamers and such, and I was one of them. I think Darnell was one of them. I think Josh was one of them. Um, and it was a cool like just little like guild management game. But it was nothing like this. This is so many layers. You're not just managing the players, and you got the champion stats now. They get nerfed. You have, uh, uh you, you, you have seasons, and and just God, this so much stuff, so much stuff. So yeah, if you're looking for uh, a management game uh, that's like kind of cutesy and works beautifully from the controller from the couch perfect couch game while you're eating pizza or while you're just hanging out or drinking a beer or stuff like that on the weekend just have this thing run in the background it's perfect if you need to go through and lower the music for some reason maybe you're like ah this is not doing it for me you can lower the bitch all the way down turn it down put your own music on and just play the game which is actually how i would do it <laughs> i don't mind the music and everything but you know i'd rather listen to something else while i'm sitting downstairs and playing uh uh and just chilling there's some other music and then play this thing on the, uh, on the side so that's it it's crazy and it's ten dollars <laughs> my name is mike b aka phony thank you so much for watching the game is called team fight manager have a good night